as the world around us becomes larger and larger and more complex, it makes it more difficult to keep up with what is going on in this great big sphere we call the Earth. It is in the true tradition of keeping you, the citizen, informed that we present a new concept in buffoonery. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the Funny Company News. Your reporter, Uncle Briggs. And a good evening to you once again. This is Uncle Briggs, and this is Funny Company News. Of course, the big news is that Sally Safety is now on her way to the planet Zipron in the Funny Company rocket. We do have a report from on board the ship. Here now we switch to the Funny Company rocket and Sally Safety. Uncle Briggs, this is Sally Safety coming to you from the Funny Company rocket. We're now six days and one hour into the flight, and everything is going just hunky dory, Uncle Briggs, hunky dory. I've been seeing the sights from Earth coming up here, and now I have on my television screen the planet Zipron. The view you are seeing on Earth is the planet Zipron, as photographed by the TV camera on the rocket ship. I must go now and make a few minor adjustments, Uncle Briggs. I'll check back into you later on this week. This is Sally Safety reporting from the Funny Company rocket on its way to the planet Zipron. Oh, that's good to hear. Sally doing A-OK -okay on her way to the planet Zipron. And like she said, we'll be checking with her later on this week, probably here on the Funny Company News. In other news, Clara Snooter, while visiting her sister in Toledo, has notified Funny Company News that she expects to be home this Friday. If her milkman happens to be watching this telecast, Miss Snooter asked that he leave a half gallon of sweet milk this Saturday morning. With the first day of summer tomorrow, our thoughts turn to outside activities. In the first of a series this summer spotlighting summer fun things to do on the outside, the grilled cheese looks at the sport of swinging. This is the grilled cheese at the Ducorn City Park, and we're going to learn today how to swing. We've got Travis Elder here. Travis, how you doing today? Fine. And you're going to teach us how to swing, right? I guess. Okay, what's the first and most important thing uh, to uh, swinging? You get up in a swing first, and um, you like kick your legs up, and um, once you get going, you kick your feet back and forth. Is it hard to get on the swing in the first place? A little bit. Okay, can you show us how to, Travis? Right. I do it slow. All right. Here's how you do it. How do you get high up in the sky? I don't know. Just up like this and keep going. You do what? I keep kicking and keep going faster. Okay, can you do that now? It's been about three minutes, and Travis is flying high in the sky. There's Travis's brother. He's going to swing, too. In fact, everybody in the park is starting to swing. But swinging is not the only thing to do in a park. This is the Grilled Cheese reporting from Ducoin, Illinois. Seems our local computer company has come up with an electronic brain that tops them all. This machine can not only do arithmetic problems or answer complicated questions, but also has the ability to talk to rocks. That's right. Using the computer as a translator, Funny Company News talked to a chunk of granite. On Friday, maybe we'll talk to a limestone. Mickey Mouse, a longtime star of stage, screen, and television, says he's giving up cheese. The aging Mr. Mouse says that after 50 years of eating cheese, his big toes are starting to look like omelets. He also said he's getting too slow for the new mouse traps that are being made. Mickey says he will substitute the cheese in his diet with raw eel. And finally, in funny company news, it's a decision that's often hard to make. Should I eat my french fries with ketchup on the top or put the ketchup on the side and dip my french fries in it? 
hard question, even for me. It used to be as simple as just doing the same thing as our parents did before us, but in recent years, breaking with tradition has been on the upswing. It seems the youth of today are trying the different ways of eating their French fries with the ketchup and are adapting the most com comfortable way for their own eating habits. This reporter asked some Sasser, Illinois residents how they preferred to eat their golden brown delights. I eat my French fries with ketchup. Do you put the ketchup on the side or the top? Top. Okay. I put it on the top and the side. I put it on the side. Do you put it on the top or the side? Top. Okay. Mine on the side. Both. Both. I put mine on top. I put mine on top. I put mine on the side sometimes. On the side. I put mine 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 on the side. On the side. I put him on the side. On the side. Hi. Do you put your ketchup on the top or the side of your french fries? Um, on the side. And dip them in there, right? Yeah. I put them on the side. On the side. I've already been done. Okay. I put mine on the side. I put mine on the side. On the side. On the side. I put mine on the side. Top. 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 Hi. Hi. Side. <laughs> on top or the side? On top. Side. OK, how do you eat your french fries? I eat mine any way I want it. The French would say, give the cats up to the cats. That's it in funny company news for this 20th day of June, 1978. Uncle Briggs reporting, reminding you that no matter where you go, There you are. Join us each Tuesday and Friday at this time for the Funny Company News. Part of the preceding was fictitious and has no relevance in a real world as far as we know it.